what we're doing here today is we're getting uh, one of our new 2007 M1000 sleds ready to go out to Jackson Hole, Wyoming to do a little bit of testing. When we're out there, we're going to be working with all the guys on our hill climb team like uh, Todd Tupper and Kyle Tapio, testing out a lot of the improver um, sleds and mod sleds that we built earlier this year. Some of the products we'll be bringing with on this consumer sled that we're going to be taking out there, um, we've got a, a new version of our M1000 can. What's different over this version to the stock version for one, uh, simplest thing you'll be able to see is that the, the size difference. This particular can is about 11 and a half pounds lighter than the stock one. So that's huge, especially in, in, the, in the western market for guys that are riding. Weight is a very, very, very important, uh, it's very important when it comes to performance side of any product that anybody carries for it. On the can side of things, it's, it's very, very important though. You can only make things so small or they start to affect other things and that's one thing um, where the, the development team here at Speedworks we know what we're looking for and we know what we're after. So we know, you know, there's a fine line between um, making the can too small or making it just right. And what we've got here is we've, we found a piece that we found works very, very well. The other thing that we focus on too is the noise. The noise of this can compared to the stock can is very, very, very similar. Um, if you were to leave the hood shut on the sled all day, you wouldn't know that it had an aftermarket can on it or if it was lighter. It's a prototype piece. We don't paint it or put any finishing on it in case it cracks or anything like that. That's why this piece looks the way it does. I mean, normally they, they come with a black coating or a ceramic coating on them like what our pipes do. Another part that'll be on this sled that we bring in with us out there um, to test on the consumer side of things is gonna be our new, uh, our new billet heads for the 1,000cc motors. These will work on the M-series and the F-series and the cross and the Crossfire um, sleds, not just the M-series. On this particular unit here, we have about a 14 to one compression ratio head. It's like our third or fourth version of it um, that we just, we keep finding ways to improve on the, on the product. Comes with interchangeable domes, like most of our other billet heads, which allow us and the customer for one, um, you know, if they wanna do a, a really high altitude setup, they'll be able to run a high altitude dome. And if say they come back down to sea level and they don't wanna have to run race gas or whatever, we offer a dome where they're able to switch over. And, uh, and just run premium fuel right out of the pump. There's several different ways to go about head modifications. Um, the reason on this particular unit we chose to go with the billet setup um, is when we remove the stock piece, you know, a lot of places will say, oh, we cut 10,000 soft here or we cut 20,000 soft there, which is, you know, it's fine and dandy. If that works for them, that's fine. Um, here at Speedworks, we'll get a little, little bit more involved. We start changing the, the shape of the pocket, the squish angle, the squish band. You know, we, we get way more involved with it. Well, we can't just do that with a stock head. We only have so much material we can work with here. So that's why we have to go into making a billet piece. One of the main advantages as well when going with a billet head is the amount of horsepower you're gonna pick up. Depending on what altitude you're at, what you're gonna run for fuel, and what other mods you have done to your sled, I mean, there's times where a billet head can pick up anywhere up to about eight to 10 horsepower at certain elevations for certain applications. Articat just won for a year-end points. What do you think about that? Pretty pumped for Articat and Speedworks. It pays off for everybody at Articat and at Speedworks when everything works the way it should, and it wins. It just it makes it all worthwhile.